Hey beauties, so I'm back with a Valentine's Day inspired hairstyle. I honestly think it's, this is the cutest hairstyle ever. You can actually wear it whenever, it just doesn't have to be Valentine's Day. But Okay, so we're going to start off by making a center part and then we're also going to um, part our hair <clears throat> and go from the back of our ear and part it upwards and then make sure that we're not going to take the crown of the hair so we're literally just aligning it up with the line of our ear like where our ear ends um, it's easier to see what I'm doing rather than me explaining it but yeah we're going to do that and then you want to tie the rest of your hair back okay so we're going to do something called a lace braid and if you don't know what that is you're basically going to take a part and you're gonna actually start on the towards the back where your parting is, and you're gonna make that make that into three strands. And you're gonna actually braid like you would a French braid, but instead of taking any pieces of extra hair on the back side, like where the part is, you're actually only taking pieces in from the front. So as you can see, I'm not adding anything to the back side, which is the left section that you see the left side. I'm only adding the sections in on the right side and I'm making sure to hold it very tight and close to the left um, where the parting is to make it look like that braid is uh, like the braid is on the towards the back side and you want to just keep doing this until you have no more hair to add on the front side which is just up to the top of your ear and then you want to just braid it like a regular braid and you obviously want to do this to both sides and just make sure that they're even. Now you want to braid all the way down to the ends and just tie it with an elastic band. So after you're done both sides, you're actually going to put your hair up in a clip and tie both sides at the bottom of your neck. So the nape of your neck, you're just going to tie both these sides and make sure that the braids are um, where you want them to be and just tie it very tightly and just leave it there. Now you could leave your hair straight, but I actually wanted to add some curls into the hair because I felt like my hair was a little flat. So I am going to use this uh, curling wand that I have from Eva NYC. And if you guys stay tuned for my next video, I'm actually there's actually going to be a giveaway with the products that I'm using in this video, including the makeup that I'm wearing, which is by. cosmetics so make sure you keep an eye out for my next video I will announce everything over there but yeah so I'm basically just curling all of my hair I'm gonna do the same thing for both sides and then we'll move on so once that is all done you guys know I love my teasing we're gonna actually tease the crown of your hair and you kind of want this to be a, a big tease well I prefer this hairstyle with a big tease it just looks so much more cuter um, and yeah, so I'm just going to speed through this part. You guys know how to tease. Um, just go with your preference, whatever you like. I actually like a lot of teas for this one. Now I am going to add a little bit of oil into my hair. This is also by Eva NYC. And this actually made my hair super shiny and less frizzy as you can see. Because I did comb through the curls that we added in. And yeah, after that you guys are basically done. So you could definitely wear this with your hair on the sides of your shoulders but I actually prefer using this hairstyle with my hair all the way pushed back because you can see the cute braid. I hope you guys like the tutorial. Definitely tag me if you try out the hairstyle and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye!